Yeah, hello, it's John here for another 850 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating and using a master mute button for our games. So I've just got open just a quick nondescript tutorial and I mean project and I've got two sounds in here. Let's have a quick look. So I've got a level sound and when I jump, I've got a new sound. And obviously your game will have a lot more sounds in there but that's what I've got. Cool. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Well, first of all, what we're gonna to need to do is create a sound class. And for the sake of this, I'm just gonna call this sound class. And I'm gonna double click that and open it up and it's gonna open up a file. And inside here, you probably want to break down all your class groups. So you might have music, and you might have like sound effects and die oops and dialogue and all kinds of stuff like that but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to have this and like i say we'd we'd set it all like considering this is going to be a master mute button we would have all of the children coming off here and this is just going to sort of group them all together this is defining the classes. So let me put that over there for a second. Now, as you can see, we've created these new classes. We now need to go into our sounds by double clicking them. And what they'll do is it's gonna open them up. And inside here, we are going to define what this is. So I'm just, for now, I'm just gonna put them both in as music. And we can move that out of the way for a second. And now what we're going to do is create a mix, sound mix. And I'm gonna call this master mute mix. Master mute mix. And if we hit that, enter it, we're gonna bring up a, another option here. And this is where we're gonna choose all of our classes. So we could add more than one, but considering I just put all mine on music, it'll be fine fine but for yours you would add more elements and set it what they are and here's the volume adjuster which i'm going to set at zero at zero and pull you out of the way and what we could do again is we could create a another sound mix and we could call that one full volume and yeah use that one so now what we need to do is be able to trigger this. So I'm going to create a quick widget. Uh, we'll call this paused sound widget. Paused widget, it doesn't really matter. And let's open that up. And inside here, let's quickly create ourselves a button. And we'll make this quite a big button. And when we hit this button, when we hit this button, we are going to want, and we're just going to want to right click in here and get our sound mix, which we're going to set. And we've only got one sound mix in here for now. So I'm just going to say on button pressed, master mute. So with that, what we're going to need to do is open our level blueprint, which I'm just going to say, on spacebar, um, create the widget, and that's going to be pause widget, and let's add to viewpoint, add to viewport, cool, compile, on here, I just remembered, we're going to need to remove from the parent on the widget, and let's Drag this side real quick and give it a go. So we can pause it and our widget's created, but I need to add a mouse real quick, annoyingly. Uh, move you over here a sec and show mouse. If I could type, let's take off context safe. 
u into u, u into u, and tick, because we want to show them out. Now, getting my player controller. All right, and let's try this again. Pause, pause. Where's my mouse? Oh my God, where's my mouse? Obviously, that is going to go to the button and mouse needs to happen from construct. Okay, we got this this time, third time's the charm, right? So we've got sound and pause, we've got our widget, we've got our mouse. And I clicked it and it's destroyed and we're muted. Yeah, boy. We're muted. So I could press spacebar and bring that back in, but we don't need to. And there you go, we have quickly created that. Like I was saying before, we could we probably put that on sort of a flip-flop if we wanted to. So that way, you know. Flip flop. Every time that's pressed, you know, it'll do that. And then we'd have a duplicate of this, which would be set to, you know play audio again, you know, full volume, and that would be our process. So what we've done there is added a master mute button using classes and mixes. Hope you've found that useful. Sorry about those mistakes in the middle, but hey ho, as long as it's useful, that's what's important. Cool. Thanks for your time.